Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Production Line, where our current, uh, you know, production line, in plural, so production lines, look like this. We got one going from here, all the way around here, and get sold over here or over there. Also have our, that's um, sedans, uh, it is um, electric sedans, and it's SUVs. Uh, however, we also have some sedans that are stripped of all things that make them expensive down here uh, Along with some pickups um, And that assembly line goes from here up Turns around comes down and up and then goes down and gets sold over here. So it doesn't go down again. It goes Here turns around comes back to here and then we have our sports car assembly line, which makes sports cars, sports car cabriolets, as well as uh, sports car uh, electric cabriolets. That gets goes up here um, and through all of this and gets sold at one of these two spots right here. Uh, compact cars also get made over here. Forgot to say that. Uh, and, you know, we usually start by looking into how our... Um, progress towards the goal is going uh, but we're pretty close to there at this point um, so I figured we'd do a quick last minute walkthrough of what is happening around uh, these things make uh, some of our um, components around like these that one that one this these two and all of these um, and th that might be a little overkill so I'm not sure how much and we're going to spend with that because we're about there on uh, on finishing this. As you can see, we're at 92%. We're missing 228 cars, basically. So uh, let's just get going. If we go through things in a more, you know, a timely manner. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, basically almost all upgrades. We're finishing off the last few researches now. And all the researches we're missing has to do with uh, production, more or less. We got um, this one that gives you more money when you sell it. We also have a power plant upgrade or a, a larger power plant that we could get. Uh, we've done all features to the cars, so um, that's no worries at all. Uh, we actually have not uh, finished off our last cars. We might as well get the off-road body as well. While we're uh, while we're at it, uh, we can go with another marketing campaign though, which will you know finishes off even quicker. Uh, we'll go with the brand awareness campaign TV for 12 hours. Uh, one thing that is is kind of sad though is we have a couple of loans, uh, and we cannot pay these off anytime soon. Like we could, like financially, no worries at all. But there's no pay pay now option, so you have to just let them run their courses. And uh, you know this one is 10 days. All right, but um, still got 144k left, and we'll be done before day 10. So that's you know. Mm. And here we have uh, our last uh, loan that we took out in the last episode. Um. And, and, you know, that's all good and dandy and all that, but uh, I probably didn't need it. Uh, I panicked a little, thinking, oh no, we'll go bankrupt. Oh. Uh, it didn't, though. <laughs> so that's uh, that's why why we have that second load as well. Um, we have five days terms. Uh, five, it's five days worth of, of, uh, of a loan, though. So, you know, we're making our way down there, but we won't finish paying it off which is kind of sad I wish we we could have you know uh, we had also a huge stockpile of cars I'm not sure why that specifically they you know they didn't get um, why specifically they didn't get sold uh, or why specifically they got sold sorry because uh, we have 200 plus cars waiting to be sold here in the in the showroom um, but, you know, they're mostly gone now. Um, possibly due to our marketing campaigns. We went pretty all out there with both the TV and the um, um, brand awareness campaign print here. 
in the last one. And we got our brand awareness up from 0% to 43.54. Our perceived quality though seems to be diminishing for every waking moment we, we go through here. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of power plants because we're uh, apparently not keeping it at 100%. Um, here we are. Make a few over here. Like that. I suppose that should definitely keep us above 100. And also in terms of, of uh, stock control or, or like resource control, things are not doing too well. Uh, so I think uh, if, if we do another scenario, we'll have a definite look into keeping things space efficient and resource efficient from the early days rather than like now where or now I could look into to producing everything in-house and I could look into um, you know making every teeny bit of of, of uh, space more efficient but there's no need you know got 14 million in the bank making um, about a million an hour in income 250k in in, uh, in profit an hour uh, and make um, 12.2 million bucks a profit every single day so money is like why do we even give a shit right but we're about to finish it though so that's that's something. Uh, I got 133 cars left to produce. Didn't take long. Let's have a look now. Not produce, but sell them. 126. And we make about eight, 86 cars an hour. That's dropped. That's not good. It was at above... Um, it, we had over a hundred cars an hour previously. So yeah, who freaking hill, right? Uh, so over here we have some resource issues. Insufficient resources here as well. Do you not have the predictive stock control thing? You don't. Upgrade all slots. Upgrades. Got it. Kind of sad, really, to have the everything stop up because they don't have the resources they need to keep going forward. But what can you do, right? We are at 73 cars remaining to beat this scenario. Good go.